Hey there, so this is my review of the Go Sky 20 to 60 magnification 80 millimeter ED high definition spotting scope. So um, I have a few other Go Sky products. I have another Go Sky spotting scope and a Go Spy binoculars, but uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with this one. So the first thing, it actually comes in a nice case, which is what you see right here. And uh, it's a lot more spacious than the other case that I have, my other Ghost Sky product. See, here it is right here. So it has the 80 millimeter objective lens and a lens cap. That comes off real easy, goes back on. Um, and it's a really large lens cap, so it allows a lot of light into that objective lens. Uh, here's your dual speed focus. So this one does your uh, fast focus and then this one right here does your finer focus. Here's your eyepiece with the eye cap. You have 20 times zoom all the way to 60 times zoom. And this piece right here twists to uh, uh, allow eye relief. So if you have glasses, you can uh, raise this up to be able to view out that. You also have the swivel right here. So there's your mount. It attaches to any uh, normal tripod. But you can also swivel it like this. And you can kind of hear it uh, clicking into place maybe. That tighten it back up, and then finally uh, this shroud right here. If if it's really bright outside, you can pull that up to uh, reduce the amount of light going into that objective lens. So there's a few other things that came. Uh, one thing that I was really surprised about was this tripod. So I didn't see it in the product description, but it actually does come with this tripod. Uh, which is really nice. It's just a simple tripod, um, nothing too fancy, but yeah, definitely a, a nice bonus right there. And um, you get a few other things. You get a microfiber cloth for cleaning off your uh, eyepiece or objective lens, and you also get this uh, this mount for your smartphone which uh, works really well. So all you do is you loosen it, uh, you put a smartphone in. So this is a smartphone, has a otter box. So you see it fits in there just fine. Tighten that back down. And then you're going to line this up with your uh, camera lens. 